as you've seen from the intro, um, kind of exciting video. So if you guys want to learn how to make DIY bath bombs, then just stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to make them. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and let's get started, I guess. What are you waiting for? Okay, so first off, I'm going to be taking some baking soda and be sure to get a big bowl if you're going to make a lot of bath bombs. So I'm going to be taking baking soda and add one cup of baking soda and then after that I'm going to be taking um, cornstarch and adding half a cup of cornstarch and then after that I'm going to be taking some citric acid and I'm just going to add half a cup of citric acid and then after that I'm going to be taking Epsom salt and I'm just going to add half a cup of Epsom salt Okay, so after mixing all of the dry ingredients, now taking all the liquid ingredients, I'm going to take essential oil and add three tablespoons of that. I'm just going to mix that really well, but I use actually four tablespoons. So then after that, I'm going to be taking one teaspoon of water, and I'm just going to mix that, and yeah, basically. Okay, so I found this um, mold of a circle at Hobby Lobby for a dollar. And I think it's for an ornament, but I'm going to be using it for the bath bomb. Then after that, I'm going to be taking four different bowls for the colors. And I'm just going to take some food coloring, which I found at Target. And I'm just going to add the powder to all four of them and just add the food coloring and mixing that really well. I actually mix six, five to six um, drops of the food coloring to get it really opaque. I wish you didn't have to post it all. I wish you'd save a little bit just for me. Okay, so after I mixed all the food coloring, I had pink, orange, blue, and white. So then after that, taking the mold, I'm gonna be taking the pink and the white and I'm just gonna mix it together and making these layers. And be sure to, that you make a lot because I actually used all of them and that was just for one bath bomb. So I'm just gonna really push it in and like make it really hard so it doesn't fall when I put it together. And I'm just gonna do that same thing with the other one. And yeah, it looks like there's not a lot, but I went back and fixed that. So put it in your freezer for like a couple of days. I put mine for two days so it can you know, cool and everything like that. And then it's ready for the bathtub. So yeah. video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you're not already and comment below some more uh, suggestions but yeah okay then I'll see you guys in my next video bye